King Edward I of England soundly defeats Scottish resistance forces led by William Wallace at the Battle of Falkirk. Wallace went on the run as Edward pursued him north. The English finally captured the Scottish leader in 1305 and hanged, drawn, and quartered him that year for treason. John Dillinger is shot and killed by FBI agents outside a theater in Chicago, Illinois. A bank robber, car thief, and fugitive called Public Enemy No. 1 by J. Edgar Hoover. Dillinger and his gang robbed about 11 banks and stole some $300,000 in the 1930s, which is about $5.5 million today. After escaping from prison in March 1934, Dillinger managed to evade authorities until a brothel madam tipped off the FBI. Pablo Escobar escapes police custody by breaking out of jail. Escobar was one of the most prolific drug kingpins of all time. Based out of Colombia, Escobar operated one of the largest cocaine distribution organizations in the world. Prior to his imprisonment, Escobar made a deal with the Colombian government to avoid extradition to the United States. As part of this agreement, Escobar was confined at a private prison. Once Escobar heard the government was going to move him to a state-owned prison, he fled. Escobar was on the run until his death at the hands of the Colombian police in 1993. Anders Benning Brevik commits his attack in Oslo and Utøya Island in Norway. Anders was a neo-Nazi who spouted anti-Islamic rhetoric and believed that Europe was being overtaken by a wave of cultural Marxism. He decided to commit acts of domestic terrorism by planting a car bomb in downtown Oslo near the government district of Norway and fatally shooting 67 people who were attending a Norwegian Labor Party summer camp on Utøya Island. In total, 77 people lost their lives in the attack and over 300 people were injured. Anders was sentenced to 21 years in prison, the maximum sentence in Norway. Two trails in the snow, only one is leading back to life. This is the photo Kurt Dimberger took after his companion, the illustrious alpinist Herman Boll, fell into the abyss on the Himalayan mountain Chogolisa. Herman was walking behind Kurt. He momentarily left the trail after which he fell through an overhanging cornice. He remains in the ice to this day. A lawyer in Toronto threw himself against a glass window to prove to a group of students that the glass was unbreakable. The frame gave way and he fell to his death from the 24th floor. If there's anything more effective than physical weapons to defeat enemy soldiers in a war, it's psychological terror. That's just what U.S. troops employed during their invasion in the Vietnam War. In Vietnamese culture, giving a proper burial to a loved one in their birthplace ensures their contentment in the afterlife. If not, it is believed that a sea soul will wander aimlessly as it tries to find its way home. U.S. forces were aware of this belief and took advantage of it to cause terror. Knowing that Vietnamese people were worried many of their soldiers would die far from home and unable to be properly buried, U.S. forces employed a freaky, psychological scare tactic known as Operation Wandering Soul. The 6th Psychological Operations Battalion of the U.S. Army broadcast disturbing moans of disembodied voices throughout the Vietnam jungle where the battles took place. These fake tapes were played on a series of loudspeakers or dispatched from overhead helicopters. For many Viet Cong soldiers, hearing the cries of supposedly lost souls piercing through the dark was nothing short of terrifying. On this day in 1992, Chris McCandless' body is discovered, in an abandoned bus along the Stampede Trail, in Alaska, near Denali National Park. About two years earlier, after graduating from college, Chris had set out to live a nomadic lifestyle. His travels brought him to Alaska, where he died at the age of 24, possibly after ingesting toxic seeds. Julius and Ethel Rosenberg are executed by electric chair at Sing Sing Prison in New York. They'd been found guilty of conspiracy to commit espionage in 1951 after allegedly planning to pass on American atomic secrets to the Soviet Union. Both Rosenbergs, however, refused to admit any wrongdoing and maintained their innocence until their deaths on this day in 1953. A devastating tsunami strikes the Egyptian city of Alexandria. 
Triggered by an estimated 8.0 earthquake off the coast of Greece, the tsunami killed 5,000 people, within Alexandria, and as many as 45,000, in the surrounding areas. King Edward III dies in England. In power for 50 years, Edward oversaw historical events like the beginning of the Hundred Years' War, which he started in 1337 by claiming the French crown, and the arrival of the Black Death in England. His descendants eventually turned on each other in England's Wars of the Roses.